Man, should we rescue that little girl's scooter? I heard the news today that you were not home. is insane that is a stigma all why all weather all wire all weather ping pong table those things are like expensive i'm talking expensive if it's the blue top even more expensive i'm gonna go back around and take a closer look at it this is insane. It's way too late, unfortunately. It's my night dive, my once a week night dive. It's 11.47 right now. Mr. Sleep Slot, this is when he needs to let me have his truck key so that I can go and pick this up right here. This is unbelievable. I'm gonna get out and hunt next to it because I wanna see how good that condition is. And also I wanna see if they threw away any paddles because the paddles alone are like 50 bucks as well because I have one of those. if I've ever seen a ping pong table that good of condition just sitting in the aisleway. Unbelievable, folks. I hit up Mr. Sleep Slot. Hopefully he'll come grab that before work tomorrow. I just checked on Craigslist for that ping pong table. I have one in the same county I'm in, similar condition and similar to what that one is. And the guy's asking $300. I looked on Google for shopping and it looks to be a $699 table brand new. Those things are expensive, blue top, gorgeous looking folks. So let me show you my nasty but awesome find of the night. First of all, I see this bag and I think it's just trash, but that's a whole bag of men's clothes. But inside this one, unfortunately, right on top of a beautiful coach purse, they have dropped a to-go container full of sour cream. Obviously, I'm going to move this, but we have a Bluetooth keyboard that sour cream dumped all over. That just is just nasty. My whole car smells like sour cream. So we're going to put the coach purse over there. We'll get that lettuce off in a little bit. I haven't even gone through this. Looks like a cover and then what looks to be some organization things that actually I might need to use. So we might just throw this Bluetooth cover away because that's pretty nasty. And then we have a lock, which I think the combination's actually on there. It is. Sweet. It might just be like one of those cheaper Target beds, but it looks like at least a full, maybe a queen. We got every single part there. We got the headboard over here. We got the footboard. We got the center slat rail, side rails, and everything. Wow. We're talking it is like, like a free bed out here. Man, should we rescue that little girl's scooter? How about that? It's just sitting in there. Oh, 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 oh. little scooter scooter. PM. You know we got the zow, baby. We got the zow. Folks, we're out here in Colorado. Look at this. We got ourselves a beautiful dump right here. RCA boombox. We got a microwave. Come over here. Ooh. Ooh, watch yourself with that printer right there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. baby, baby. Nice little printer with computer paper. I actually need more computer paper. All right, let's come around over here real quick. Like I thought I saw one other thing over here. Hold on one second. We got something on the ground that you guys are going to be shocked to see. Okay, are you ready for this one? We got ourselves a Briggs & Stratton. 
just chilling right here. Six horsepower, I'm sorry. Yeah, Briggs and Stratton, diamond power. That's worth some cash. We picked that bad boy up for a go-kart. Ooh, that's it, that's it. puppies is that the magic bus is that the magic bus sees or sees have we named him yet got ourselves a nice washing machine some scrap water heater little fridge back there here we go folks here we go Tell you what, you seen that? You seen that? September 2nd, there's snow up on them hills. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out here in beautiful Colorado. My brother happens to come up on this beautiful tower right here. And look what else we got over here. We got ourselves a beautiful little beautiful what is that wood chipper not this not this ladies and gentlemen this right here we got a kingsford gorgeous gorgeous dishwasher gorgeous we're we're diving some high-end apartments here looking absolutely fantastic let's go see what's in that tower computer all right ladies and gentlemen let's open her on up oh wow we got a gtx 570 in there we have memory in there we have a motherboard it looks like it's pretty dusty. Looks like they did pull the uh, power supply. I don't know why they didn't uh, remove the graphics cards here. We have another right here. We have Course Air. We're looking at six gigs here. Looks like they're all the same. That's a fantastic score regardless. We'll go ahead and head on home, see if we can get a power supply in here and see what we got. Let's go ahead and see if the hard drive is in here as well. This looks like a Antec Tower. Fantastic, look at this. Folks, we're looking good. Ew! 
Wee, I'll tell you what, Colorado picking just as good as California. So one good thing that I've noticed about Colorado picking is a lot of their complexes here have a trash compactor in the community, which means that you actually have to walk over to the compactor to throw everything away. So if you're gonna find anything, it's gonna be in the compactor area. Only problem about that though is your neighbors become your competitors, especially because everyone's going to the same trash cans. Now, when I pick in California, some people don't even know what their neighbors are throwing away. They don't even go over to other cans. They just stick to their same cans. So you have more competition, but everything is in one general location. See Every day and every night, every night. Every day and every night, every night.